is 264 feet, Jeff. Can you imagine it? I'm attempting to. I bet you can see for 100 miles at the top. We should make that our first priority. Whatever pleases you the most. You please me the most. You mean you are not weary of me after an entire day of marriage? I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> I think we've arrived. Isn't this grand? As advertised. Very nice. Let's check in. Are we the only ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Try again? Well, this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. Let's not wait till tomorrow morning. Let's sign in and go straight there. We're not going anywhere if no one checks us in. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. My sincere oh. apologies for both startling you and for making you wait. My attention was needed elsewhere. I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Please. Sign in here. First time in Chicago? I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. Oh, a honeymoon. How very, very lovely. Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. <laughs> yes, today's the beginning of our honeymoon. Congratulations. In that case, an upgrade is in order. A honeymoon suite it is. Oh, well, uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. How kind. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Henry Howard Holmes. You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect, then? Architect, designer, builder, Doctor, artist, I'm a man of many interests. Impressive. Please, have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill.
Thank you, Mr. Holmes. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. I forget to bring. Oh, pardon me, miss. Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm. <laughs> he sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Wouldn't you like to know? I wonder what's in here. I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. <sighs> Perhaps. Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. Wait, what's that? <gasps> Don't move. <laughs> That was a thrill. You won't think it's thrilling if we're sleeping on the street after getting kicked out of here. Let's go. Welcome, newlyweds, to the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. This place is fit for a king. Or my queen. <sighs> oh, you. Kiss this. <sighs> that is not very wifely of you. <clears throat> hey! Ah! Bullseye! You asked for it. <clears throat> <laughs> Should I be frightened? <clears throat> if you're smart. <laughs> 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 
mercy, mercy. Okay, you win. Anything broken? Only my pride. How about a peace offering? Hmm. This feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not at all. I have a gift for you. Close your eyes and face the mirror. Aren't you clever and romantic? If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. <laughs> Is there a problem? No. Open your eyes. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. <laughs> Victory is mine. I'll let you have that bath now. It's jammed shut. Maybe if we put a little weight into it? <sighs> Open sesame! <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. <laughs> Shush. Shave. I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. Don't you worry. Better not. Hmm. I could have sworn this was the way we came up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Is that you, darling? Jeff? Oh, are we playing another game? <laughs> okay, Mr. Sneaky. You can't sneak up on me, Mr. <gasps> Holmes! Hello, my What are dear. you doing in here? Jeff! I don't think he can quite hear you. <laughs> But I'm not finished yet. I said get Don't fight it. We'll only hurt more if you do. <coughs> yeah. We're only prolonging the inevitable. <gasps> what? What are you? What have you done? Calm yourself, sir. It would seem your wife has had an accident. Is there a problem, sir? for everything, everything in its place. Well, look at this. Oh, it's wonderful. Only the best for you, my dear. Mother would simply die. It's so I say, uh, good man, do you work here? Hello. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Have you been waiting long? Welcome back. I do enjoy seeing a familiar face. Last time, no one survived. I wonder if you were even trying. It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions, delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread, 
way you react, the decisions you make, would affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obols. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Well, shall we start? Game is afoot. I will be watching.